Most of you have probably heard of SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act, which is likely to be up for a vote soon. And most of you probably don't need to be convinced that this is a very, very bad law. For those of you who haven't heard of SOPA, you need to research it. SOPA would give the government the right and the means to shut down any website at will and arrest citizens for copyright violations or even linking to someone who is committing a copyright violation. Now, this is how full, hardcore internet censorship starts. They'll use copyright as the initial justification, and they'll expand it incrementally. If we allow them to win here, then full Chinese-style internet lockdown is just a matter of time. However, there is a way to fight them, and in this video I'm going to propose a very specific plan of attack. As is the case in most politics, if you want to understand the real motivation for a law, you have to follow the money. And that's what I did. It turns out that there's a short list of powerful tech companies which have unified to support SOPA. I'm going to be putting a link to the full list in the information box below. In this list we have Apple, Adobe, Dell, Intel, and a number of other household names. Now, most American politicians are already bought and paid for, so they aren't likely to respond to the will of the public. But corporations which are pushing for this legislation have vulnerability, their profit margin, and their public image. And that's where we have to hit them. Obviously, if we try to attack all these companies at once, our efforts would be too dispersed to have any real impact. That's why I propose that we pick the largest and most vulnerable name on the list and hit them hard. Apple is the best target for a number of reasons. One, they have very prominent physical stores. These stores would be the perfect spot for an occupation or to pass out flyers outside. Two, Apple is extremely image conscious. Getting labeled as pro-censorship would be a public relations disaster for them. We need to bring that disaster to the doorstep. Three, Apple takes phone customer service very seriously. So if we clog their phone lines, it'll force them to take notice. And four, they're the most profitable company on the list. If they turn against SOPA publicly, then it'll have a greater effect than it would if one of the lesser companies did so. So here's what I propose. If you live near a physical Apple store, organize your friends and go pass out flyers stating that Apple supports internet censorship to every client walking in or out of the store. And if you've got friends who have the guts to do it, then stage a protest directly in the store. Make a scene. If you don't live near an Apple store, get on the phone and call the Apple Care and Apple Sales line repeatedly and take up as much time with each representative as you can talking to them about your concerns. Next, go to the Apple website and fill in as many customer support forms as possible with letters demanding that they take a public stand against SOPA. Now, if we want to have an effect here, we need to mobilize as many people as possible. That's why I'm requesting that you share this video with everyone that you know through as many networks as possible. Please feel free to take this video and re-upload it to your own channel, or make your own version calling for people to participate. Now is the time to act. We have to hit them where it hurts and hit them hard. Go!